See, she's. <laughs> Hello everyone, to the Man Alive Richard Kaguya Sama Season 3 Episode 7 Yee! Woo! So, ladies and gentlemen, so we kickstart the second half of the season today and pretty much we're gonna finally tackle the cultural festival arc because, you know, sort of preview for today's episode we're pretty much gonna go into the more, how to say, generic high school event of the year Well, pretty much the fact that everyone expecting the cultural festival coming anyway since the start of the season where they kind of have already mentioned about the cultural festival arc so, oh my god, just can't wait for it already especially the fact that we might see some interesting character development maybe especially Shirogane last episode where he kind of revealed the fact he's going abroad to Stanford so he need to make his move now to confess to Kaguya before it's too late of course so yeah I'm pretty sure in this culture festival we might see some interesting romantic development indeed man especially not only just Shirogane but also maybe other characters too like maybe you know Ishigami making his move on Subame maybe so we shall see man but today's episode is the cultural festival arc and I just can't wait for it already man so with that said let's get started Shall we? Okay, we got some Miko backstory of our first experience with some bonfire, I guess. Well, it seems like Ishigami and Ino will be helping out with the Bunkasai. Oh, you love to see it. Well, it seems like Ishigami will be a lot busier than usual now. He has to do all those tasks, which he hates, of course. And of course, Kagaju Yu, Subame. <laughs> and that's how he joined everyone because of Subame. <laughs> oh man, he's loving this vibe because he was part of the team before. Well, it seems like the team is coming up with a tagline. Oh, okay, what a tagline? Lo, even Miko hates it. <laughs> oh, he loves it. <laughs> what the fuck is this tagline? Like, holy shit, that's an essay. <laughs> oh my god, they're not really taking this seriously, aren't right, they? Oh, yikes. Seems that Ino has been put in the spotlight again. Oh, boy. Pressure on, Ino. Your turn. If you keep complaining about their tagline. Damn. Of course, Subami had to be the one to step in to save her, as always. Mmm, Ishigami using his treasure skills to help fix the situation and impress Subame. <laughs> I love it. Lao, too bad Ishigami here to take your spotlight away. You know Ishigami gonna shut you down, right? Oh man, at least he's trying, I guess. And there we go. <laughs> Ishigami, man, flexing right now. Look at Ino's eye. <laughs> well, too bad, boys. Ishigami here to take away your spotlight. <laughs> Oh man, look at my boy Shigami, man, showing up right now. See, hey, with me around, you guys are the lame one. Yeah! And it seems like Miko's enlightened by the bonfire mentioning. Well, seems like the bonfire is a big no no because of the neighborhood, like law and stuff like that. Oh, damn. Oh, ouch. Well, basically saying that, you know, you're such a hypocrite. You, uh, you, you were supporting the neighborhood complaint. And she's like, I Ishigami enlightening her again. Hey, <laughs> love it. Oh, look, her confidence is back now. Thank you, Ishigami. Well, glad Ino is like taking this seriously now. Well, good for you, Miko. Well, it seems like Ino is like so desperate to get the neighborhood accepting it. So that's why she's working hard. <laughs> He'd love to see it. Oh, damn. He got the approval, too. Wow, nice job, Miko. Nice job, man. I mean, Miko is a hard worker, and Jiu is very persistent, too. So she always gets things done to her way of liking it. I gotta say, the blonde girl was, like, so against Miko, and she's helping her out. Like, that is some character development, man. And, of course, she was supporting the bot campfire, too. Man, I gotta say, I'm so looking forward to see what an interesting adventure holds for our team in the Bunkasai, man. You know Bunkasai is the best part of the any school anime. Hey, Kaguya interviewing her. Love it. Well, seems like they're a big Kaguya fan. Like a massive Kaguya fan. <laughs> and they love it even more. <laughs> Lol. Dude, these girls, man. Oh, so she'll be the one to light the bonfire. Nice. 
I mean, she can't have to because her family reputation is in line, so she has to be good at everything. Dude, you're crying because of her amazing success? Seriously? Oh, really? Okay. So she ditched the club because she entered high school. Hmm. Really? You really think that's what's, what happened? That's why she ditched the tournament? Like, come on, really? Is it really this dramatized? <laughs> uh, what the hell? Why did Mikage look so cute with that dress, man? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, of course. Why am I not surprised? So basically, she decided to drop out of the club activities, or should I say the tournament participation, because it clashes with christmas day and she wants to go on a christmas date with shiragane oh my god dude it's it's happening guys kage and shiragane is gonna be together very soon oh ho, 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 precision holy shit damn she is good damn subame oh damn that split though i gotta say she is good man oh man nice I actually, if you think about it though, Tsubame really has a nice figure, man. She really does. Oh man, I love this effect. Oh, whoa, damn, I love that effect. Oh shit, she's a family, is a Yakuza. Oh my god, she's a big deal. Oh, she said it. Oh, of course. Hey, about time to interview him. Oh, really now? If Kage saw you say that, she'll be, you know, coming after you. Dude, that's a one hell of a sculpture you just made right there. Damn, I, damn, I got to say, Shiragana, he does have some amazing designing skills, man. He's doing it himself, too. That shows how good is he. Oh, you don't need to say anymore, man. He has a goal. He has a goal to confess to Kaguya. That was cool, man. Oh man, I gotta say, these girls are having so much fun, like, well, taking over this episode, this second of the episode. Are they making some sort of SAO reference right there? <laughs> oh, whoa. Wow, what the hell? Yo, damn, this girl has ambition. Low, low. <laughs> Hey, nice, wow, balloon teddy bear you made there, chica. And Shiragane sucked at making balloon. You know where this is coming, everyone. You know where this is going to lead to. Oh, she's not coaching anymore. <laughs> oh, PTSD is hitting her hard. Oh, you don't need to ask, man. She's been through hell coaching Shiragane for the past two seasons, and she's not going to repeat the mistake again. Oh no, Shiragane is receiving abuse from the boys. What are you gonna do, Chika? Helping him now? Dude, Nagisa, you're not helping with that. You, you just demotivate even more. No, you don't. You just piss, you just make him sad, man. And Chika had to do something about it. There we go! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Yeah, exactly, right? If you just want him to do well, coach him then, Chika. Coach him. Man, she's really holding back, man. Just let go. Just let it go, man. Just help him out. Dude, Shiragan, that's just sad, man. Holy cow, that was just sad. And Chica, I have no choice. <laughs> Oni, love that one. Bro, that just sounds so wrong, man. Having blood all over the shirt because of sewing. I like the fact how he's just doing the balloon popping in front of her, man. Just gonna, like, you know, torture her. See? She's <laughs> oh man, dude, I hate it when balloon pops, okay? And doing it const continuously in front of you, bruh. Dude, she's really holding back, man. Fair play for her. But dude, if it was me, I'd just leave the room already. <laughs> oh, is your, your time is up? Shiragane, you finally gave up on making balloons, huh? Dude. This is so sad, man. Shiragana, you, you you can do other stuff, man, but just don't focus too much on Balloon. Hey, oh, dude, that was cute. Yo, Kaguya to the rescue, man. 
Oh, of course, you have to have Kaguya to encourage you, tell you that you're very, you have all the qualities. Oh, I love it. Dude, this is just the great. This is so amazing by Kaguya, man. Dude, this is Kaguya moment to shine, and I love it so much. So, is this time for him to redeem himself by able to finally make a balloon? Oh, damn, look at Chica go, man. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, so those balloons won't pop easily. Fair enough, at least you could have given him that earlier. Oh! <laughs> oh, so much for not able to pop easily balloon. <laughs> well, too bad, Chica. You just have to coach him, man. Well, today's episode was basically the kickstart of the cultural festival arc and well, Ishigami got his moment to shine. Basically, he trying to show off to Tsubame because you know, he has a crush on her and he might as well try to use his skill set for once in the first time or in a long time that make him you look useful for the, the committee. And I love the fact how he's trying to compete with the boys. And of course, Miku Ino. Well, again though, you know, we, we know that Ino is not really good with, uh, you know, people staring her, putting her pressure, but just need someone like Ishigami or Shiragane to snap her out of it and she can be herself again. That kind of showed that, you know, Ishigami kind of understand how Miko functions now. You can see the fact how happy he was when Miko worked hard to achieve a goal. So Miko got his moment to shine. The interviewers for today's episode was really something, man. Kind of exposed Kaguya ditching his, her club for Christmas Day. That is next level chat, man. She literally ditched her, one of the most important about well, archery tournament for a Christmas date. That is just some Chad move by Kage, and I love her for that. And of course, you get to you know see Subame being Subame, and just seeing Shigane had you know really committed to his goal to confess to Kage. And of course, the balloon part, of the last part of the episode was a really fun episode. We get to see Shigane actually for once actually really criticizing himself hard man because he you know he's, he's really running low in time now he wants to find ways to impress Algea by doing something that is like not within his comfort zone so you know but balloon making balloon is not his thing so might as well just you know give up on it but he just keep on working hard just keep on popping balloon i love the fact how Kagia just come in to support him that shows that she really cares for him though that, that is a really good scene for today's episode but in the end though Balloon making is not really for him, to be honest. Even for me, though, I will, I won't even bother touching balloon because I suck at making balloons. So yeah, today's episode was really wholesome and fun. But the best part for me is seeing the fact that Kaguya really wants a Christmas date, and you know it's coming, man. So with that said, hope you guys enjoy my reaction. Smash the button, and I'll see you guys next time.